you. Larry Krasner and Charles Peruto are facing off in the race for Philadelphia District Attorney. Krasner is the Democratic incumbent. Peruto is the Republican challenger. Joe Holden is following the campaign. He's in Winfield. Joe. Hi, Jessica. Good evening to you. Historically, this race would have been decided back in the spring when there was the uh, Democratic primary. However, this year, though, political observers say that Philadelphia homicide rate, the murder rate, and other crime make this race one to watch. In a race historically decided at the primary, does concern of Philadelphia's rising near historic murder rate inject life into this late hour election day contest? Eileen Simmons from Winfield would tell you yes, without a doubt. It used to be uh, a time where, you know, women, uh, expected mothers, and children were, you know, you hardly ever heard of them being murdered. But now it's. it's Right along with everyone else. Voters do have a choice, even with Philadelphia's significant Democratic registration. Republican Charles Peruto Jr. is hoping to show incumbent Larry Krasner the door. I, I'm on no sleep now. I've been on no sleep for the last three weeks. So I just keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. Peruto has cast Krasner light on accountability for lawbreakers. He says his plan is more jail for shooters caught on city streets. But Larry Krasner, a first term reformed trailblazer, has worked to depart from the heavy handed law and order from the past. He says Philadelphia voters have overwhelmingly approved his agenda. You know, there are two things that really are central to what we do. One is to focus on the most serious crime, but the other one is to bring reform. And Philadelphians know what they want. That's what they want. And CBS3 will be keeping tabs with both candidates as those polls close. Catch the latest, of course, from the DA's race when I see you over on the CW at 10 and then right here for Eyewitness News at 11. Live in Winfield, this is Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you for that. We'll see you tonight.